Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. Just want to do a quick little video to show you guys the backfield. Obviously you can see our house up there, um, but we have four, almost 14 acres and a huge chunk of it is this massive backfield. And I have so many hopes and dreams for this property back here. Um, right now I'm not allowed to touch this area. I might be able to do in the future some large crops like some an oat field or you know a wheat field um or a corn field or something along those lines that it doesn't need a lot of maintenance it doesn't need me to come back here a lot um this area is for mat for hunting so i'm not really allowed to allowed to use it but it's just so pretty i mean just look at that i just remember seeing that view when we were looking at this property and just being like wow i can picture this here i don't think video Oh, you're all right. Can't grasp the full magnitude of the size of this field. It's just insane. It's so big. And it's so pretty. Oh, I can see so many animals back there. I picture rotational grazing back here. Some goats, some sheep, some horses. Eggs. I don't think I ever want cows. Um, I'm not a big fan of of the red meat or the beef industry um, or the footprint, the kind of carbon footprint that cows produce. The feed to, to pound of meat ratio is kind of low, so I don't think I'd want to do that. But I can see a lot of other things back here if I can convince the the hubby to eventually let me use this. We'll see. Right now, back here, once this fills out, um, obviously right now it's all kind of plowed down from the snow. We don't do anything. We didn't do anything to this. This is normally, this will be, when it grows, is like, you can barely walk through it. It's like up to my shoulders. I'm short, but it's it's tall. It's tall. But it's a lot of really good um, weeds, if you want to call them, but um, really good weeds for pollinators good ones. This is a milkweed pod. Tons and tons and tons of milkweed. Uh, lots of goldenrod, which is really good for bees and butterflies and, and other pollinators. Um, but it's really good to, it's good to have fields like this. As much as like I would love to have all the animals in the world back here and just have like a really pretty um, kind of pasture, it's so good to have it just let it, just let it grow and just let it do its thing. And there's so many good things that will grow up from this um, that really benefit pollinators. And, and a lot of this is going away because everybody wants to utilize fields for crops um, or for pasture. And, you know, bees need these kind of fields that are just untouched. Pollinators need this. Uh, so that's it's really important. I think it's as much as I would love to have all the animals back here. It is something that is really cool to just have for now is just leave it. Look at all the milkweed pods right there. It's so cool back here and it's so pretty. And it's so peaceful. And there's always tons of deer back here and turkey and everything. So it's really cool. One of the things that drew us to this property was not only the obviously the acreage and the gorgeousness of it was these all these bunches of poplar trees. There's some over there. A lot of these are poplar. Hence Poplar Creek Farm. Um, they're really pretty and one thing we found out is poplar, cre poplar trees are one of the first trees to grow into a um, old field. So this used to be a corn field. Years ago this was all corn, um, you know, for probably cow corn, something like that. And poplars, because they're a soft tree and they're a, you know, a shallow rooted tree, they're one of the first that grow into old fields like this. And so that's why they are growing in these little bunches. They're much prettier when they're green and everything but um and so it's really kind of cool to know that that's why they're here that's what their purpose was was to kind of start to fill in this field that was tilled and you know probably abused to an extent kids love this back here there are a lot of these how are we going to get back to our house we'll walk back up babe have these briars. You can see they're really starting to 
come into bloom. Get my buds on and everything. But they're also extremely, extremely thorny. These mounds. They remind me of like frozen. All these mounds. Like the rocks that are gonna roll up. You know, there's gonna be trolls rolling out of these. And what we figured out they are. Kelly, stay off it, honey. Are actually ant mounds. Um, they're ant hills. They're just ant hills on steroids. And they're huge. Mommy. It's not our field. This is that where I'm at. Where I'm standing is the end of our property. But these deer come up this field in front of me and back there where they are are corn fields typically. Um, this past year they let this year this field here rest. They must do kind of rotation, but that field where they're in has some corn in it. They did have corn in it. They're just so peaceful and just so fun to watch. Oh, and there they go. I scared them away. This is kind of a view from the very back of our property. So you can kind of get an idea of how big this is. It's still hard to tell. I feel like it's so hard to get from a video, but it's so nice. And we own into the woods on both sides. A good amount. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite things to find. <laughs> these old uh, rock borders. Or these rock piles. You can tell they're from old farms. It's just kind of cool to see the history of this property. Uh, what is it, bud? Deer scratch. Deer rub. Deer rub. So all of it is from the deer horn. Right there. Cool. I get so excited when we go on these walks and I find treasures. Most of the time, they're not super exciting. I did find a bunch that I think my aunt found. Um, we were walking one time, an old milk bottle, or an old milk glass. Um, one of the ones that would have been given out like at school or something, a really little one. And it was a glass and it said, if you don't return the jar, I'll bust and it's a cow. Just really cute stuff. But I love when I find these pretty perfect flat rocks, nice stepping stones. I'm gonna put this one. So this is gonna be the entryway to my garden. Put this one right here. Stepping stone into my garden. I have another one that I'll put in that I'd found a while ago. But thank y'all for joining me on this little nature walk. A little tour of our of our acreage at the back, especially. And please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.